Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at numbers, number patterns. We're looking at examples for exercise 3.3. 3.3. Arithmetic sequences, okay? If a, if a sequence has a constant or common difference between any two consecutive terms, the general term is 10 is equal to Pn plus Q. The sequence is called a arithmetic sequence. It's also known as a linear sequence. Okay, arithmetic linear means all the same thing. The common difference is denoted by D, and D is equal to T2, Tn plus 1 minus Tn. D is any term minus its predecessor, basically the term that comes prior to that. Remember, we wrote the down as T3 minus T2 equals T2 minus T1. If that is evident, it's a arithmetic or a linear pattern. If we let the first term arithmetic sequence be A, then we've got A plus D, A plus, and so on. So they developed the, well, they discovered the general formula that we are currently using already, which is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. The full explanation can be found in the description box below. Okay. So I'm looking at the example on page 63, and this example is for, pay, for, ex exa uh, for exercise 3.3 on page 64. Okay. So the question says, show that the sequence is arithmetic. So what do you say? What makes something arithmetic? If it has a second constant difference. So if this is evident, T3 minus T2 is equal to T2 minus T1, then it's arithmetic. If it's not so, then it's not arithmetic. Then it must be something else. If it you guys Alright, so let's go with that. When we start, if you, you, the, your, your T1 is 1, T2 is 2 and a quarter, T3 is 3 and a half. So what do I say? D, T3 is 3 and a half minus T2, which is 2 and a quarter. Is that equal to 2 and a quarter minus 1? Let's check. We put on our calculators. 2 and 3 and a half. Minus two and a quarter. It's going to give you five over four. Not so. Is, is that equal to two and a quarter? So you want to make a big scratch in the calculator. We press shift and the button and the button, the fraction button to get the mix fraction. So two and a quarter minus one. You five over four. What do you notice? The same. Therefore, the sequence is arithmetic. Let's see. Okay. So arithmetic progression or a linear sequence or whatever. You guys understand? Right. Let's go to the exam the next example also on page sixty-four. Determine the general term of the sequence for 10, uh, 4, 7, and 10. So if you've got the sequence 4, 7, 10, how do I move from one term to the next? Adding 3, right? And then adding 3. If I go to the next term, I would add 3 again. So what would the next term have been? Thirty. Okay. So this makes it what type of pattern? An arithmetic pattern or a linear sequence. Not so. What's the general formula for a linear sequence? Tn is equal to a plus n minus one d. What's your a value? Four. So it's four plus n minus one times three. So we just get the, the, the bracket, so it's 4 plus 4n minus 3. 3n, yes, my mistake. 3n. So it's going to be 3n plus. That's my general formula. Is there any confusion? And we can test it, okay? People, what term is this term? 3. 3. So if I put the 3 where I see n, what's 3 times 3? 
plus one is t so yes modulo terms normally if I test I don't test on term one okay I test on any other term okay is there any confusion here you all understand let's carry on now we are told to determine this is on the next page Okay, this one page 64 for exercise 3.3 on page 64 okay he tells the which term of the sequence 25 14 3 is equal to negative 52 so what does that mean that means you say you have to consider the sequence 25 14 3 and the sequence carries on and on and on till term negative 52. They want to know what is that position number. They want you to calculate any other words. You understand? Now, sometimes I can put a number there that won't be part of the sequence. Like for argument say 50. Okay? If I am if I am subtracting 11 all the time here, as you can see, I don't move from one term to the next. Minus 11. Minus 11. So if I subtract 11 all the time, you can even take an easy example. Could 2 be a term in the sequence? No. However, if I put um, negative 8 there, then of course negative 8 would have been the next term of the sequence. Yes. Does it make sense? So if I continue the sequence, not any number I think out of my head will work. Not so. Why must conform to the pattern first? Okay, so sometimes the number that they choose here does not work. Okay, but then it will be worded a bit differently. Then it would be, um, is negative 51 a pattern in the sequence? And then it would say, uh, substantiate your answer with relevant calculations. Okay? Yes, sir. You, you can't just say yes or no. In maths it doesn't work like that. You must give a reason why. Okay? Let's go again from the beginning. We are asked here to determine which term of the sequence 25, 14, <coughs> 3 and so on is equal to negative 52. So we said that that is going to be the nth term and in other words we calculate the Okay. So where do we start? We start where we always start people is with a formula. Okay, the general formula first. So how do I move from term 1 to term 2? Minus 11. Then, minus 11. So what? So this is an arithmetic progression or sequence. Not so. Or a linear sequence. What's the formula for a linear sequence? Tn is equal to a plus. What's my a value? 25 plus. N minus 1 times. Negative 11. Let's get rid of the brackets. There's 25 minus 11. N plus. 11. So negative 11 n plus 36. So that's a general term. And we can test it. Let's go for term 3. What is uh, 3 times negative 11? Negative 33 plus 36. Positive 3. So yes, it works. Okay, you guys understand? But have I ever answered the question? No. no. So what do I do? I didn't say. Uh, Tn is equal to negative 52. But what is Tn? It's negative 11n plus 36 is equal to negative. So what does this now become to us? Equation. You guys understand? So we solve for n. Take it over the equal sign. Am I moving too fast? No. Okay. Negative 11n is equal to? Negative 52 minus 36. So it's negative 11 in. It's equal to negative 88. So n is equal to? So therefore, T8 is equal to negative 52. Before, what does that mean? That means to say, if I, if I extend this, let's go. 25 minus, so this is term 3. Term 4, if I minus 11 from that, I get negative 8 minus 11. Negative 19 minus 11, negative 
30 minus 11, negative 41 minus 11, negative minus 52. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, it's good. But uh, am I going to cheat so every time? No, because uh, what if they they'd ask me for the number in the hundreds or thousands? Am I going to check it by doing that all the time? No. Okay, so I'll just do it according to that procedure. It just makes it easy. Right, you guys understand? Yes. Is there any confusion? Right. So that basically brings us to the end of the examples for exercise 4.3.3. Uh, okay. You should be able to do that with of exercise 3.3. Yeah, the full lesson can also be found in the description box below, which deals with exercise 3.4 and uh, exercise 3.5, which is check your skills. Okay.